We'll now explain how you can play back content created with Works. You can upload to YouTube or Facebook using the Ambisonics format upon export. But if you use a player that has our Soul SDK integrated, your content can be rendered using our own GAO format. With GAO format, you will get a superior sense of sound object localization and audio quality when compared to Ambisonics. Your spatialized mix will also translate much better to the end consumer because the audio engine used in Works is the same engine that is being used to play back your final spatialized content. Lastly, we support any combination of object, channel, and Ambisonic signals, providing a truly immersive audio experience. We've developed a reference player that has our Soul SDK integrated within it. You can download the Soul reference player from our website. Please start by visiting the G-Audio Soul page from the Cinematic VR tab of the gaudiolab.com website. Once you click on the Android Cardboard download icon, you will be redirected to the download in the Google Play Store. For the Gear VR version, you will need to fill out your correct information and the redemption code will be sent to your email. I'll now explain how you can enter your code at the Oculus Store. This process can also be viewed in the downloaded instruction manual. First. Launch the Oculus app from any Gear VR supported Android device. If the Oculus app is not yet installed, connect your device to the Gear VR. The app installation should start automatically. After you sign into your account, click on the More tab on the lower right corner. Then, click on Redeem Code. Enter the redemption code you received from G Audio via email and click on Install All Content. Once that process has been finalized, click the Library menu at the bottom and touch or click on the G-Audio Soul Reference Player. Then, connect your device to the head-mounted display and you will see the main navigation page. The navigation page will have two tabs, GAO and Ambisonics, where you can upload content to your device offline. The menu tab titled GAO is where the GAO format content that was placed in the Soul Player folder resides. In the last menu tab titled Ambisonics, you can watch FOA format content. I'll now explain how you can upload to these two tabs. Once you export your content using Works, your exported files will have a prefix added. This prefix will tell you the file type. A file that starts with FOA underscore ST is a WAV file that can be used to upload on Facebook. This WAV file can be integrated with video by using the encoder provided by Facebook. A file that starts with FOA is a four-channel Ambisonics format that can be used on YouTube and G-Audio Soul Reference Player. If you chose the video container option upon export, you can use the MOV or MP4 video formats. For audio, you can choose between WAV and AAC. If you wish to upload your content to YouTube, the video needs to be encoded with the Spatial Media Metadata Injector from Google. If you export audio only, you will only find a WAV or AAC file. A file that starts with GAO is for the Soul Reference Player, or any player that has the Soul SDK integrated. If you export with video, you will get a GAO file along with your video file. You will need both files in order to play back your content correctly. The .gao file includes metadata that is used to process the binaural rendering aspect. If you export audio only, you will find an audio file and a .gao file. Now in order to play your files on a Gear VR device, you can utilize the following process. First, download the Android File Transfer app from android.com forward slash file transfer. If you connect your Gear VR mobile device to your computer via USB cable, the app will appear. Once the app is installed, drag and drop the video and GAO files that were exported using Works into your device's sole player folder. Please keep in mind that the video and GAO files should have identical file names. If you'd like to add a thumbnail image, just add an image file with the same exact name as a video file. Once your material has been transferred to the Soul Player folder, you can find it in the Soul Reference Player under the GAO or Ambisonics tabs. Now we can play back your material. As you watch the video, you can hear the interactive 3D spatial audio in action. If you click on the screen while playing, you can see the total playtime and the elapsed time. There's also a pause feature. Whenever you wish to go back to the main navigation page, just touch or click on the home icon. You are now ready to enjoy your interactive 3D audio projects. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us via our website, 
geaudiolab.com or our support email support at geaudiolab.com.